Hello, hope you're all well. So, today's task is this chamfered base, or set out base as some people like to call it. So, we've already determined the height that we need the base to be, and we have set our lath at 2 inches above to allow for the depth of the cut. We have made sure that the lath is level right the whole way around the garage. As this base is quite a deep coat, we build it out over two runs. As you see here, we are coating approximately halfway out of the lath with our first coat. As always, we want to control the background, so even with waterproofer in our scratch, we still give this base a light weighting, because it's a quite a warm day. Our scratch coat is mixed at 3 to 1, so our top coat that we're applying here now is 4 to 1. We simply continue to coat like this all the way around the garage and then we pull a scratcher through it. Same time to get a wee coffee and allow everything to take up a little. So, coffee's drunk. Now it's time to build this base right out to the depth that we need it. We start by pulling a tight coat into the underside of the lath. As this is where our cut's going to be, the last thing that we want is any of the coat to be sagging on us and we find that this helps prevent it from happening. We then proceed to coat on top of the scratch. And what we're aiming to do here is to build our coat out as deep as the lath is above it. This is because we use the lath as a guide for our depth. And once we have this coat built right out, we just start to straighten the base. We plumb our edge on the corners at the same depth as the lath and then we can work from there. We we'll then use a level and set it against the lath and make a plumb mark into the base. And we can then work from both the edge of the corners and the marks along the base. The aim here is not to be straightening any deeper than the marks that you have made with the plumb. It's better to fill any slacks than to be over straightening. And again, we just continue this process right the whole way around the garage. As always, whenever you straighten anything, you have to straighten it in all directions. So we always go up and down and left to right. You can then simply take your level and check that the base is plumb the whole way around. As you can see here, I found a little bit that we're not quite happy with, so we take the time to make sure it's left right. No such thing as it'll do, because the minute that the paint hits it, you'll see any hollows, any humps. So just take the time, do every process to the best of your abilities, and all will be good. And this is how it looks at this stage of the game. So, once the base is tightened up, it's time to rub it smooth. Again, take your time. You know, we keep a little bit of mortar in a bucket and we fill any wee blemishes that we find along the way. 
it's far better to just you know fill these slight wee blemishes than it is to try and rub and rub and rub to to get it filled out that's whenever you start to see your rub marks or your wee dips and hollows so take the time and fill out any of them wee bits that need to be filled out When it comes to rubbing your corners, make sure that you're using a good clean edge. This helps keep the corner nice and sharp. You can see here that we use boards to stop the sun from drying the base too quick. These wee things help us to keep control. Now the base is rubbed, this is what it looks like. So the final stage is cutting the chamfer into the base. We use a beveled edge which helps to keep everything uniform. We use another piece of lath, which is two inches, and we mark it from the lath that we already have on the wall. This shows us exactly where to place the beveled edge the whole way along the garage every time that we move it onto the next piece of the cut. The timing of when to cut is quite important, as if you're trying to cut when it's too wet, the edge will all start to sag and it won't look really nice and crisp, whereas on the other hand, if you try to cut when it's really dry, it looks all patchy and you can see the wee furry dry bits of the mortar. Once the chamfer is cut, we then go along the whole base with a sponge, just to give it a real nice, great, smooth finish. And what we have here is the final product. Thanks for watching guys, you know what to do, hit that button.